Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an issue when running the Windows Network Diagnostics. And it says that the connection between your access point, router, or cable, modem, and the internet is broken. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I would want to make sure is that your router is turned on and powered up. There usually is a reset button on the router itself. I would suggest you guys attempt to reset your router, which could mean just holding down that button for so many seconds or unplugging it from the wall or power source and then plugging it back in about a minute or so later. There's different ways to reset. It depends on the router as well. But generally speaking, unplugging it and then plugging it back in a minute or two later is what I would suggest doing. And then something else we can try here as well would be to move your laptop or computer to a different location. It might be a poor signal to the computer. You might not have very good reception, certainly. Something else we can look into here as well would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD, best match, or come back with command prompt, right click on it, and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevator command line window, type in IP config followed by a space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration to successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to type in NETSH space WinSock, W I N S O C K, space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen, and hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the WinSock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, close out of here and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully this pointer issue has been resolved. As always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.